the moment has arrived. It's the big one. The last Saturday in September. The opening bounce. Ren and McKernan. McKernan jumps high, gets his hands on it. The ball is going to bounce very high in the centre square all day. Abraham over the top of it. Finds some space, delivers, carries the target. Got him! What a start! Could he go back and bang it through? Winds himself up, gives it a ride. It's going and going. It's not going to make it. Front spot, Pike, hard in trouble. Shoals got him. It's a ball up in the goal square. And that's often a tactic used by clubs to drop a tag. Blakey's now got him again. McKernan has a roundhouse right. He was held, and he's got a free kick. Just forward of centre. Sensational return to form for Corey McKernan in recent times. Kicks to half ball. There it is again. Terry has kicked 40 goals in finals. He's kicked 79 so far this season in the home and away. Speaking of away, it is to the right. This is Hart. Marked by Harvey. Bright sunny day. Hart kicking it up towards half-back, Wren in front, fell behind, Abraham 65 metres out from goal, unloads, long down towards full forward, Scholl in best position, fisted away by Hart, down in front a chance for Grant, knocked away by Jarman, Harvey was taken high, was he? He'll get the free kick, close to the boundary line, left full forward, play goes on, but it matters not, Harvey will get the free. Yes, it was just going at the ball hard, get your head down and just, it was only a slightly high tackle, but... You uh, go hard at a ground level ball and a little chip kick to uh, Blakey. Is John Blakey in his second grand final, a veteran of six preliminary finals. Kicks, it's swinging back, it's okay. Best goal of the afternoon. The ship in Adelaide. They switched on to this one. Roberts. Short passes, Harvey juggled attempt, this is Pike under pressure, snaps it back, they'll contest about 10 metres out, crashing the pack, McKernan, spills wide, Abraham in the grasp, hand passes back towards the middle, Harvey, Scholl, upended, kicks, it's close, behind. An exciting player, he revs it back in towards full forward. The diving attempt was there by Pike, not taken. Red goes to ground, Scholl's got him, he asks the question once again. All to no avail. Coming out was Caven, had it only for a moment. Jarman leaves it for Hart, he goes short to Ellen. Call to play on in the back pocket. Up towards centre wing he goes, over the head of Scott. McLeod, twists beautifully, had to beat a couple and did so. A positive thrust by Adelaide Crows, down towards half forward. No mark was taken. Pressure now on the North Melbourne defence. Pushed back towards Harvey. Goes through with strength. Gets the hand pass away. And they're able to steady it down. Back towards Roberts at half forward. Charmin in with aggression. Kick. David King is clear. 55 metres out. Wobbles it into oh. full forward. Clean ball smart. Picked up beautifully by Pike. Poor kick though. Great pressure. Playing against his old side. He kicks towards half forward. Harvey gives it away, an opportunity once again for Carey, down towards the forward line, North doing the bulk of the attacking, Shaw looking for a welcome return, Hart's got his measure at the moment, but it's smothered, Hart's the first to recover, he goes again, kicks towards the half oh. wonderful mark by Winston, put it on Winston, and he does, kicking inside 50, oh. Pike was the fly, but quickly cut across, strong play, off he goes to Shane Allen, Allen to the outer side, Tyson a chance. The Crows looking for their first goal. As they start to settle, Robin leaves it. And his co-big man takes it in Pittman. Gives it away to Jarman. The pass has got to be good. It almost was. Martin missed it. Archer couldn't take it. They go again. Robin wobbles it. He wobbles it into the woodwork. One behind. They get the second. The margin is seven He's points. He's going to get another kick, I think. Uh, the trip was played against Rashida. Well, a special moment for Mark Rusciuto. He missed last year and was absolutely devastated. He's had 12 months to think about it. Can he kick the Crows first? From just on 40 metres. A floating drop punt and he's got it. Crows are on the ball. Stevens read it well. 
on his wrong side, right foot, Johnson went early, but straight down to Roberts, here's the paddock, there's only Scholl and Hart, it's been a good uh, matchup so far, Hart holds his ground, Scholl with him, Ben Hart still with Scholl, what a great one-on-one -on -one contest, Hart with him, Scholl playing it, back to Carey, can he break the Caven tackle, Caven's doing well on the king after Carey's early mark, and it's a boundary throw in. Pittman and Roberts, Pittman with the height advantage, Bell again takes it, could have been taken high too. That was, so it'll be down the ground. Edwards now up the ground playing on Abraham. Well, hard to Here's Simpson, to three. here's a big kick from Simpson. A big goal to North Melbourne. And what a scene it is, grand final day. So much at stake. The pride of two cities. Carey plucks it nicely. Breaks free. Has a look over the shoulder. Hooks it back. High ball. Roberts camped underneath it. Bickley couldn't knock it away. Roberts, the oldest man on the ground, finishes up on the ground. Now Roberts. Important kick. He likes it off the boot. Wait on it. It's a goal. An unsung hero of North Melbourne. Quiet, but very, very efficient. He looks to the outer side once again. Roberts was his target. Tyson waiting down in front. Just keeps it in play. Tyson heads home for goal. What a kick by Tyson! I think it might be out of bounds, Sandy, unfortunately for the Crows. Still a great kick. <laughs> <laughs> the kick was great, no doubt about that. Well, he's held it in. Yeah, maybe just. Yeah, gee. As he brought it back to kick it, that was yeah. the problem. McCartney and Wren, won by the latter. Scott couldn't take it away, Wren gets another hand pass. This time he finds McLeod. A worm-burning pass in towards half forward. Out the back it goes and in towards the pocket. Kept in play, Herber. Well done by Jarman. He bends it back as only Jarman can do. And he kicks the goal. What a beauty. Well, I must say, from the time he grabbed the ball on the boundary line, he cut back into his left side. The uh, curly kick across the body is the Jarman absolute special. They're normally really efficient in their scoring opportunities, North, but they've gone into their inside 50 metres 16 times to the Crows' 10, so their scoring percentages today haven't been fantastic. Free kick, 7-2. to two. It's on imbalance there. Roberts has handled back to Stevens. Stevens kicks well inside 50. McKernan pushed out of it. Smart sweeping at the back. Carey. Oh. Goal! Unbelievable! The king! <laughs> Improvisation at its very best. What improvisation was that? Look at this. Outside of the right foot. Just amazing. An extraordinary goal. Rarely have we seen anything like it in any game of footy, let alone a grand final. 13 points the margin, favouring North Melbourne. He comes into Mark Bickley, and the skipper's got it at centre-half back. Just over a minute remaining. Scholl and Hart. What a duel those two have had so far in this game. Hart wins it this time, gives it back towards Shane Allen. He looks up towards half-forward. Over the top of Carey it goes, who's down. Here's a chance for Goodwin. Goodwin can pop it over the top. He does. James goes into the open goal. His first possession right there, had 37 against Melbourne back in round 10, the most by a crow all season. Pittman slaps it out, smap it off the boot of Harvey at Ricochet, still inside the centre square. Oh, and he bounced, Pickett came through, he bounced too. McLeod, meantime, gets a hand pass away, storming through the middle is Freeborn, kicks it down towards half forward, Terry, unkind bounce, it runs on. The big fellow McKernan, open goal beckons, and he's missed by quite a margin, and great pressure by Hart. Pittman looked to have marked that. So centre wing, Roberts, Ellen onto him, taken by uh, Blakey, back to Steve, uh, to uh, Harvey, to Scott. Quarter time. Terrific opening turn, really. Uh, north on top early, but I think the Crows have shown plenty. Second quarter of the 98 AFL Coca Cola Grand Final, North Melbourne.
Going into the game as favourites, lead by eight points. Nice little pirouette, then kicks it back towards Wren, going with the flight of the ball. The big man can't take it, but Peter Bell did extremely well. Eventually he does get the kick, down towards Robren. Bad bounce, cool bounce. Maybe the door will open for Martin again. He's able to apply the tackle. The Costa hand pass goes to Tyson Edwards. Still outside half four. What a smother by Byron Pickett. Great work by Pickett. And he sets it up for North Melbourne. As Grant takes it away from Roberts. Up towards Martin Pike. And he takes the mark. 43 metres out. Martin Pike has been somewhat of a football nomad. But here he is playing in his first grand final. Big kick from Martin Pike. Kicks it like a forward. Robin with him, back to Scott, Scott's handball to Pickett who settled beautifully, Pickett's left foot kicked to about 30 metres, Abraham takes off, Wren from the side, Carey gets hold of it, turns, bouncing ball, well done Smart, pushes forward, Shannon Grant dangerous in the forward pocket, looking to give it off, goes for goal and misses, it's <laughs> behind. 36 to 20, North Melbourne making an early move here in the second quarter. Pickett could have been held, Scott gets a bad bounce, so to McLeod. McLeod will go again, he's dangerous, he's 52 metres out, spears it in towards Pittman. May have got a push and will get a free kick. Playing in his second straight grand final, David Pittman shoots for goal. Crows fans behind the goals, love it, he's got it. as well as Robin. We can run too, he knocked that one down. Bickley's kick, almost marked by King. Fumbles, recovers inside the centre square, under pressure. Off his step, boots it out towards right centre wing, taken by Roberts, playing a blinder. Roberts the high kick, Carey with the numbers around for North, almost the one-hander. Scott gets away from the pack. Scott 45 metres out, blanketed off the boot. It bounces down towards full forward, still Carey over the ball, looks over the shoulder, pulls it back, but he's wide of the mark behind but uh, the sloppy kick almost made it anyway but very sloppy kick just under 13 minutes remaining this is dangerous Rose have done a rotation between James and McLeod and the players just take a while to find their man Peter Bell he's played every game this year but he's away to the left so North putting away a few chances Missed the ball, so did Blakey, taken by Connell, lays it off, this is Hart, Hart pulls it back towards the middle, 50-50 ball, King and Smart, standing alongside was Harvey, he reaped the benefit, gets it across to Shaw, looping hand pass and turn to Blakey, turns around, kick with his second and missed. They have got the yips, haven't they, North Melbourne? Handle not effective, Pickett tried to cut it off, Bickley was there, cut off by Simpson, Robin couldn't get a hand on it, well played by Shannon Grant, bouncing ball in the centre, Archer's handball, terrific to Abraham, who can go, 50 out, he gives it a hook, it's coming back, it's a behind. Great play through the centre by Archer. The Crows desperate for the next goal, to stay in touch, Robin desperate to get into the game, Martin tumbles a punt, back towards Allison. Couldn't quite wrap those long sleeves around it, but he's quick to recover. On all fours, gets the hand pass away. Harvey gives it to Archer. Archer kicks in towards full forward. Pike is at the back. Carey! Oh. Straight into the woodwork and another behind. Goes on the ball. Set shots really where they can really get balanced and drill it through. They've added 1-9 in this turn, but Adelaide in real trouble. Good one, got it to Allen, sold into trouble. Picked up now by Carey, smothered off the boot by Goodwin, spills across towards Allison, he was slung, swooping on the loose ball is Bell, and will come back I think, the umpire will run down and get the all clear, it's a goal! Well if you just keep having shots I guess they've got to eventually come. 26 to 49, and back in the centre square, Crows desperate for the next one. Johnson, hip and shoulder, he's in trouble. They've got a taste of it North, have a look at this. They're going in for the kill. They've had the last eight scoring shots, North Melbourne. Gives it away to Blakey. North Melbourne out of trouble once again. Kicks it up towards centre wing. Johnson gets in the way of Winston Abraham. Hart was waiting down in front. Pumps it high and long. Archer hit from the side, but up maybe a fraction early. Play on is the call. McLeod dangerous to Jarman. Here's a chance for the Crows. Jarman though goes right across the face of goal. And puts through a behind. 
Anthony Stevens saw his brother involved in a premiership win earlier on today. Here's Kane Johnson, dodging and weaving, dashing forward, but there's no one home. Kick again. Cavan gathers it, hand passes to Edwards. Edwards down towards half forward. Robram played it well. Still he goes. Cheeky work goes in short towards the pocket and the mark is held by Barney. Barney, sharp angle. Man on in the middle. Oh, oh well, where did he go there? It was behind Goodwin in short of Tyson. Cut out by King. He comes towards our broadcast side. Awkward bounce for Freeborn. Played it to his own advantage. Knocked away by Ellen. One out contest about 10 metres in from the line. Ellen into the lines. And the second of them didn't work out too well. Pike taken by Capuano. Floating it towards the goal square and through for yet another behind. 6-14, 2-10 to 1-1 in this quarter. The Crows would just love one goal before half-time. They certainly need it. Floating kick, Rob in front spot. Martin just eased him out. Got over the footy, kept his eye on it. Brings the ball back cleverly into the centre. Three ball releases uh, Stevens. Stevens yeah. beautifully to McCurry. At times he looks like a colossus on the ground and he certainly did there all alone. He wants this goal for his own confidence and this would give North Melbourne a huge break at the half-time break. McKernan 25 metres out. It's close. He's missed. He was no good thing. We saw him miss too many of those last Friday night. 6 15. Can the Adelaide Crows make the pay in the last 30 seconds? Cave it down to the half forward line. Just maybe they can. Stevens could have given away a free kick. No, play on they do. Andrew Eccles wobbles it in towards goal. But only as far as the big mark. The cold figure from Arden Street puts it out in front of a freeborn. He's got Connell chasing, but he pops it over the top to Anthony Stevens. Stevens has got a panic. He looks down towards half forward. Peter Bell's away. There's time for Peter Bell. No, there isn't. As the siren sounds, Bell's kick lands in the left forward pocket. It's half time, but Malcolm, your team is in trouble. It's only one thing, Sandy. It feels like a 10 goal game, and it's only a four goal game. Exactly Third right. Third quarter, the premiership quarter, and the grand final. And the Crows have got a great record in third quarters against North this year. Boy, they'd like another one today. McLeod's push forward. Marsh is at full forward. Vardy, back turn, back to Eccles, back to Robin. Gets one of his few touches. Front spot, Jarman, not held. Is he going to play it? No. Good decision. He's the only player in one half of the ground as he kicks to Wren, who marks it half forward. If Adelaide can get the first one here. We know they have an enjoyable second half, usually. Right, Sensational yeah. kick to find Jarman. And who will forget his six-goal haul last year in the grand final? Kicking from 40 metres. They are desperate for this, the Crows, and he's got it to them. Let's go. Ben Marsh now is playing there at the start of this third quarter. As a, as to give that height in the goal square. It's all or nothing now. You get the feeling the Crows have steeled themselves at half-time. McLeod, who got seven last week, pulls it back. I think he's missed. Just wonder whether Nigel Smart's fully recovered after being uh, put out of it in the uh, second quarter with the uh, strong bump from King. Good mark by Ren, he's had a good start here. To Ben Hart, Ben Hart squeezes it, Rob nearly clever, handball to Johnson, Johnson tried to break it, McLeod brilliantly done, back to Johnson, Johnson goes and he's kicked it, they're back, they're back, they're getting their hands on it, and North has given them a sniff by not putting them away. Well, we know that North is a team of great character. Just maybe it'll be tested now as it's belted to half forward for the Crows once again. Eccles goes down towards Robert. Robert gets it up to Tyson Edwards. Tyson Edwards gets it away to Peter Barney. He goes to goal. Oh. He misses. He misses when it's in a pit. Explosive out of the set. As North Melbourne at the moment playing like his side who felt they had the grand final one at half time. It's interesting, uh, the Crows are playing four players deep in their forward line, but what that does mean there's more space further up the field and just maybe they're 
running power can just put uh, North under pressure around the middle of the ground. Sit in front, those little legs are working like pistons, kicks the ball to centre wing to another little fast player and Harvey goes over the top, Eccles had a big second half last week, good kick into the centre, releases Bickley, Bickley over the top, releases Goodwin. Simon Goodwin, 65 metres out, looks in towards full forward, Jarman's the target but it's Mickey Martin who cuts across. They're throwing everything at North now, the Crows. Martin, again going to the outer side. High and wide. Marsh was there to provide a contest for the Crows. He did well. Here they go again. Kane Johnson lets one go. It's long. Vardy! Couldn't take the mark. It doesn't matter because Jarman is there. And Jarman is back too. Three goals to Jarman. So doing that like crows. Three points to mark. This ground at fever pitch now. 6.15 to 7.6. Rucks go at it. Knocked wide of the pack. Opportunity for Tyson. Slaps it across to McLeod. McLeod goes inside the 50. Jarman again. He's on fire. North need to hose him down. And what a team lifter this will be. In the space of less than 10 minutes, they will have grabbed the lead. It's a mammoth kick. It's just offline, behind. I was talking of using players being tagged to block up the space in the north forward 50. And that's what uh, the Adelaide Crows have done with Mark Rusciuto. He's gone down there and Adam Simpson has gone as well and there's been plenty of rebound from there from the Crows' point of view. Kings floater not good. Mark taken by Bickley to Marsh. Marsh strolls away, kicks to full forward. S too far, scores and level. No, oh, no, oh, no. Way over the line. It looked way over the line. Nigel Sparks been paid. It hasn't been there a year to go on players, has it? Oh. He's now committed to taking the shot. Improves the angle. Hits the post. It's a dramatic third term to say the least. Scores are level. Now the Crows are getting a lot of rebound from there and their players that aren't following the North players down the ground are there as players to use on the way back. Well, the Roos haven't scored this quarter. Oh, Abraham had it, lost it, regained it, played by Winston. They may score now. Oh, oh it's long and it's Winston. What a steady. What an excitement machine. Well, Bell. Deep in his own defensive area, swings it out wide. Carey, subtle, leads back in the race, close to the boundary line. Tyson did brilliantly, wrote him off the ball. This is Stevens. Forward at half back is second bounce. Anthony Stevens down towards half forward Pike. No easy mark that one. Meanwhile, Carey and Tyson pick themselves up. This is Pike kicking inside the 50. McKernan out maneuvered that time. Mark is held by Stevens. Smart, bouncing ball, can he get a handle on it? He does, runs out of room. Handle back was clever enough to Tyson having a big term. Kicks towards half forward, Vardy and Pickett. Pickett gets rid of him, quick kick away by Blakey. Over the top, Carey with an opportunity. Carey still with it, handle out, gets it back to Stevens, having a rather Bell. Bell pumps it forward to McKernan. He stood two. Pagan's paddock in effect here. Allison running on, McKernan leads back. He's got Capuano. Takes the hand pass. Pike solid but fair. Gets the bumper wide. Martin and Robert. Mickey Martin is first to recover. Robert right on his hammer. Spirals a little one. Back towards Freeborn. Eccles turns him inside out. He loses it. Soft and clear. Rashido gets a chance. How will spinning ball sit for him? Taken out by Stevens. Simpson comes in over the top. And <laughs> <laughs> tries he made. There will be a ball up. McCartney from half back. Looks towards centre wing, Wren is in the pack, he almost took it, Simpson first to recover. Bounces it up towards Allison, flicks it over the back, he wanted Pike, instead he found Hart, who in turn finds Eccles. Now maybe the Crows will get another crack at it, Goodwin lets one go, pumps it along, Archer's in the pack, no one able to take it, here's McLeod! How was that 
for Crum from uh, Andrew McLeod. Hagan on the phone. There's the clock. Pittman in relief now. Rusciuto to Bickley, the skipper. Off his step, drives it down towards half forward. Knocked forward by the defence. Blakey goes after his own ball. Gives it back to Martin. Martin drives it out wide. Golden opportunity for North now. Harvey, metres in the clear. Tyson goes after him. Harvey takes him on once, twice. Slips past. Running down towards half forward. Harvey unloads for distance. Miss Cues. Ball throws around the ball. They need to keep it in here. Caven realising that feeds it back. Finds Hart. Hart against the boundary line. Ben Hart comes away. Comes up the middle. Spotted Johnson. Gathers the half volley. Hooks it across his body. Brilliantly done to Bickley. Bickley thought about the hand pass. Runs through the centre square. Probing kick to half forward. Just missed the target intended for Robwin. Up came Vardy. Slipped it away to Robwin. Question of accuracy. 20 metres out. Hit the post again. No sign of any emotion. Certainly, I reckon Malcolm Blight set up a terrific structure in this uh, third quarter. He's actually at that last set of bounce. He had Edward, Smart, Marsh and Vardy all up on the full forward line. And with all this space in the midfield, the Adelaide leg speed is becoming a very significant factor. Robin didn't quite do the finishing, but they're just running away from North at this point of the game. In front for the first time today, 58 to 57. Marsh, that third tall option is important. Bickley, McLeod, he'd written a kick this. No, he kicks it to Smart. He can go on and kick it if he wants to. Oh, McLeod was an interesting one because Smart was yeah. always on the angle. Crow kicked 6-1 to 2-2 against the Saints in last year's grand final. In the third quarter, he's kicked the goal. There's seven points in front. And Andrew McLeod. Andrew McLeod is turning this game inside out. It's 9-10 to 7-15. Johnson, when the Adelaide Crows look like getting the ball, is becoming a very attacking player, and Bell's really going to have to tighten up on him on the way back. Campuano down to Bell, he kicks towards half forward. Carey, clever mark. Well held this afternoon. He started well. Wayne Carey looks towards the middle. Brilliant kick intended for Allison. And Allison is marked about 40 metres out. That is a terrific kick, isn't it? That had to be weighted perfectly. And it was, and with just a couple of seconds to go, this is going to be the last shot. This could be the best medicine. Allison's kick is on the way. It's good. They needed that one. Adelaide lead by two points. A surging third term, and there's our scoreline. Away we go. It's an interesting call by Dennis Pagan to start Capuano in the ruck and uh, start McKernan in the forward line. So he's going to try and use McKernan as a marking forward and the fresh Capuano, see if he can go and do it in the ruck. McLeod after win, thumped it forward. McLeod feeds it back to Tyson, 45 metres out. What a start! And there it was, that man again, Andrew McLeod. In the round 21 game in Adelaide, it was Archer forward and smart defence. They're just reverse roles. The other thing about North Melbourne, they've got a very old bench at the moment. Varney, high ball to full forward. Marsh getting himself set. McCartney in the front, build it away. Tyson's had a magnificent match. He's got Jarman loose. He's going to hit him now. Could Jarman go back and drill it? He's kicked three. Jarman's already played in two premierships. One at Hawthorne in 91 and one at Adelaide last year. Gives it all he's got. It's a beauty! He's done it! He's kicked his fourth. That is a big kick. I think you'll see him playing a lot between half forward and full forward. He's the only man who can win it for them now, I think. Simpson tried to pluck it out of the air. Winston was stripped almost, but he plays on. They need something desperately here as Scholl's kick is wide and over the line. One behind. Straight down the middle. The drop short, however. David King. Sending North back into attack. Peter Bell. Bell is clear. 40 metres out. They desperately need a goal. Allison oh. can't hold it inside the line. It's another behind. The behinds have been their story today. Eight goals, 17. Bickley up towards the wing. 
the captain driving towards centre half forward Wren brilliantly done you got the North Melbourne players look tight McKernan then against Wren just almost lost his balance from fatigue short German oh that was a clever mark out in front he's got the radar on too Tim he's That's got the right. radar you're tipping to kick this from here here's Jarman strutting the green stage I think he's gone very close he's missed it Just North under pressure Archer comes out wide Stevens to Scott over the top to Bell in space Bell pulls it back towards the middle nicely done Simpson Simpson about 75 metres from goal goes long Carey in best position and he's taken the mark lunging with so much responsibility riding on his broad shoulders here so important this kick can he pull North back he's missed stayed right behind one four to carry today yeah just the opportunity but you've got to make the most of him he hasn't been able to do it today he's... how hungry would he be with about 10 minutes of footy left 16 of his mates have won premierships. He and Vardy missed who are playing today. McKernan's little give is good to Stevens. Stevens runs and kicks. Can Caven get it again? What a game he's playing. He's away and Hart's running for him and Caven's kicking at danger. Hart's got to get there. He does. He hasn't put a foot wrong all day. Stevens has been able to get hold of the ball on a number of occasions. McLeod didn't have the ideal preparation coming into this final series. Marsh wins it down. Here's Rodron and Martin. Smart in front. Freeborn's got it. He gets a kick. He gets a kick. And a ridiculous kick. Well, that could just about pick the cup South Australia. Five weeks on the road. What a finish to the season for Adelaide. You can almost smell it now. Johnson into the path of McLeod. Surges away from the centre, kicks inside the 50. Jarman inspired. He was never going to miss that. Look at determination on his face, isn't it? South Australia holds its collective breath. Darren Jarman kicks for goal. And he's kicked it. Margin, 25 points to Martin. Rock's first possession right there. Kick through the centre square. Carey could have been interfered with. Free ball onto the loose ball. Sweeps the hand pass forward. Bell needs to finish here. Pulls it back. Brush the post. They can't catch a break. It's interesting when you look at the shots of goal, though, isn't it? 28 to North Melbourne, 27 to the Adelaide Crows. A real tale of missed opportunity back-to-back -back premierships in the AFL competition. It would have been done in the BFL competition. No one said it could be done in the AFL competition. The Adelaide Crows are a super team. Archer's kick out, almost back to the centre. Kane Johnson almost throws it away. It matters not. Tyson has been sensational. Nigel Smart fires. Term. Adelaide, the team of destiny, the benchmark now. Wren knocks it down. Bickley, Johnson, irresistible football. McLeod, penetrating kick inside the 50. Spills back out towards the half-back line. McLeod back onto the ball. Tries to sneak away. Plenty of options. Jarman, Vardy, 20 metres out. Very sharp angle, but you can guess the result. To the pit of Hardy, in that coming in. He's working on here now. The Crows are home. It's ticking away. We've done what we thought was impossible. They've been to Perth, to Melbourne, to Sydney, to Melbourne, and they've come back. Super football team, not 
question. It's endorsed. It's Frank tonight.